What is up, you love crafting gamers? Keelan here with the first new look of Dredge, an exploring fishing adventure game that promises discovery of things best left forgotten. So first up we got a a job for an angler it seems. So according to the description it's some sort of exploration fishing game which is uh, kind of interesting. I don't think you've seen a game where it's an adventure game and a fishing game in one. Looks like we ran aground. Or, do, or did we just come across a sinking ship? Okay. So that was the intro. We collapsed the night before, so we did lose our ship. Uh. The man notices you. Welcome to Greater Morrow. I must see it's quite the dramatic first impression. See, you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks. Wow, ouch. Did you not see the lighthouse? It's shining right at you. Glad to see our new fisherman up, upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but we had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. Well, that's handy. At least we got an old vessel. We'll have to get out and then catch some fish and see if we can fill your cargo while you get your bearings. We get back to s get back by sundown or the before the fog or the fog the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time, it can really creep up on you. Right, so bad things happen if we don't get back in time, I guess. Okay. Easy control. Oh man, we got such a dinky little boat. I was not expecting this. That's pretty cute, though. That's very cute. So it is really just a fishing game. Yeah, it's like a fishing game with exploration esque things thrown in. That's cool. I mean, that can be really. I haven't really seen many games like this. I've seen like fishing games that are just fishing games. Okay, let's start fishing. Oh, we got timer game. Oh, we got press F on the green. Oh, nice. Alright, we're trying to fill our... fill our hole. It's got a nice little timer game here. It's pretty... do I have to... I guess I have to, like, grab them every time. The stock is now low, so can we move on? Let's see if we can find some bigger fish. We need to get a bigger boat, perhaps, but I want to get a bigger fish. Maybe we shouldn't be too... I want to be ambitious though. I'm like, should we be... shouldn't we... Uh, shouldn't go too far, but maybe we should. Maybe we may encounter interesting stuff. Oh, I love that sound. That's great. Ooh, got a cod. Excellent. Nice big cod. Ooh, I flubbed that one. That's nice that you don't have to do it all over again. I think I'm full, actually. I don't, I think I can fit many fish. We're using a custom rod, apparently. So we're not net fishing yet. Oh, stock depleted. Okay. Almost full. Could use some small fish if we can find any. What's this? What is this? Disturb water. Ooh, you do not have the right equipment. That's intriguing. That's very intriguing. Ooh, a message in a bottle. Message in Ooh, I see sharks there. I don't think we have room for shark. Let's grab this bottle if we can. Add it to the cabin. Okay. I want to see the fog rolling in. Let's, let's just check out what this, this uh, boy or buoy is. A floating buoy. Safe passage. Okay. Makes sense. Where's the fog at? It's kind of getting misty out there, isn't it? We could put lights holding E, toggle them on. Lights. Ooh, we also got fog horn. Can we uh, play that? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> we got a spyglass. Can see any fog coming in? Ooh! 
there would be a a kraken. <laughs> There's a kraken out there. I think we should head back in. It's getting nighttime. Ooh, there's an eye appeared on the compass. How do we, uh, how do we dock? Oh, dock. There we go. Well, at least we got something. Ah, oh, so you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, the old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you a replacement vessel. Yours to own. Understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, but consider it alone. A tiny portion of your fish sales will go to ping off. Okay, that's fair enough. Where do I sell the fish? To the fishmonger, of course. And there we go. It's a very simple game so far, but uh, I guess it gets more complex as you go along. Hmm. Surprised they got a new one. So what happened to the other fisherman? He, he's the kind of type of person to last out here. It's not the life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for the fish. Bigger the fresher means more money. Okay, fresher mean. Yeah, some species worse more than others. Yeah, it definitely is mostly a fishing game, guys. Mostly a fishing game. Selling, yeah. You know, um, there's several fishing games available. There's like uh, modern day ones. There's not many ones set in the past, which is so. This is kind of cool because this is kind of set in the past with the old, old way of fishing somewhat. Uh, they the new new modern ones it's kind of the same it's like it depends what you catch also what season dictates what fish you can catch so this is gonna be much more like where you go dictates what you catch uh, I guess we just sell sell all fish apparently we get a hundred bucks all that fish and we lost 15 for the debt for the boat that's not bad this is obviously before inflation. <laughs> Oh, that's it, and it's like, bye. Excellent at work. Hmm. Found this by the docks. I'm not sure. You could use it somewhere. Research part. Alright, so we can research new things. Wonderful. Alright, so you can upgrade your ship. That's good to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were. I was just thinking that, it's funny. They're doing a good job of introducing everything. So we got one research part. Okay, we, now we get a good look at the upgrades we're going to get in this video game. Uh, mangrove? Ooh. Okay, so different rods can fish in different waters. So we got the mangrove, coastal water, we got the volcanic. We got the mangrove. Oh, this does all of them. That require four cogs, apparently. Ooh, abyssal and haddle. Abyssal, right. Oceanic. So this is like manual, and this is like automatic hook fishing. Different rods. Uh, looks like we get nets, yeah. It's not showing us right now. Okay, it's locked. We know we're going to get pots for, you know, uh, crustaceans like lobsters and crabs. And we're going to get nets for schools of fish. I presume as well we're going to get bigger boats for catching sharks and interesting things like that. And uh, maybe some krakens and, yeah, probably can catch sea monsters eventually, I imagine. Uh, probably not going to see that today, sadly. Because, uh, of course, they, the more fun, advanced stuff, they often lock it away behind hours of gameplay. Uh, but that's cool to see that we got lots of potential upgrades. Double dual propeller. Mm, yeah, we got some sort of jet propulsion there. Some, is there like a jet ski or something? That's pretty cool. So, uh, right now, we've only got one cog. Uh, so, we can get either a flexible fishing pole... Or we can get a hydraulic rod. Allows the catching of significantly larger species. I think we want that. It's 
so we can catch something bigger. So with that, then we can go see the shipwright. Does the shipwright have a name? You can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Everything takes some time to install, fair enough. Take any damage on the rocks, or any damage at all, probably from sea monsters. Cthulhu horrors in the deep, yeah. The bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install, so plan ahead, okay. Well, uh, oh, we have to, we have to buy it, look. So you can research it, but then of course you have to buy it. Uh, simple skimmer, lightweight rod. Right now we've got a custom rod, which is 40% coastal. This will help us fish shallow if we want to. This is out of our league. Hmm, I guess we'll get that one. Is it good to have a backup? I don't want two rods on board though. Or do I? Uh, it takes up space. Oh, there we go. It took two hours. Alright, so here's where the, all the gear goes. Nice. And we can also buy a rusty outboard engine. Yeah, we haven't researched much. Some some better some better lighting. I'm not sure why we, why we need better lighting, because I could see just fine. That's the storage. How do we end the day? Do we need to end the day? I don't know. Oh yeah, we got a message. According to the second day of the honeymoon, first day properly... Ah, oh, so they're on a honeymoon on a boat? Kept the old... the ocean riches was a good name. Basket half hidden under a blanket in front of the camera. So I guess we're looking out for the boat, maybe? Yeah, I'm not sure. But it seems to be that the, uh, the main game is like paying back your debt. Oh, nice, you get an encyclopedia of how much the fish is worth. Obviously, cards more. Yeah, so you just like do a bunch of fishing, get your upgrades, and probably explore to see like, kind of what mysteries. I guess we need to rest. But can we carry on fishing? Probably could. Let's rest, because they say it's dangerous at night. Wow, the day goes so fast. Look at that, an hour passed already. Yeah, so you must have to get better better engines so you can, uh, or motors so you can explore further. Yeah, that's probably it. Like, eventually you you catch so much that you can upgrade your your boat, and then you can go exploring all these wonderful islands. Look at that. As far as the eye can see, many, many islands to explore. Can we dock here? We can. This is Little Marrow. Okay, there's a trader here. Oh. Don't believe me. Forgive me, my eyes are not what they used to be. Ah, alright, so this guy you sell antiques and jewelry to. I don't have anything niche or interesting, so it seems like we'll catch some interesting stuff. We can also access the storage from here, that's nice. Okay. And we can, um, yeah, could do rest or uh, do some more research. That's pretty cool, so there are other docks to go to. Let's see what this is real quick. Let's begin. We got a... Ooh. I was pressing left mouse button instead. I think left mouse button might work as well. Let's test that. No, it doesn't work. You could probably play this on controller. It would be a lot easier on controller, probably. Next. And it's... It's a very simple... Quite, it's quite a simple game, really, but I imagine they have, like... You know exploration stuff kind of thrown in to make it interesting and also mysteries of the deep you know strange things that you might uncover oh what's this we've got some flotsam let's check this out let's see what the right so we need the we need a dredge 
to check out the flots and stuff which is marked with a with a plank so I imagine you find some interesting things maybe some antiques to sell but yeah very much a very simple kind of business type game nothing to you 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 pick up clues in the in the in the little bottles there oh that's an interesting settlement over there very interesting very interesting yeah, it's like a manor house or something. Ooh, almost hit a rock. Ooh, wow. Is that a whale or a shark? Something pretty... Pretty cool. I, I, I gotta say, it's a very cute game. It really is. Um, I don't think there's gonna be anything that scares you too much in this game. I was, I read Lovecraftian and I was like, is it gonna be really spooky and stuff? But nothing so far. Maybe, maybe later, but... Nothing so far spooky at all, really. Oh, we don't have enough room. Ah, uh, don't have room for it. That's sad. I'll, I'll, I'll place it. There we go. <laughs> it's time to get back. Yeah, so the day's quite quick. I'd like to see a longer day, to be honest. Maybe I just need a faster boat. You notice the eye has appeared. <laughs> it's not a good sign. Then I head back in. I wonder what happens if you stay out. Oh, exposure to the fog increases your panic. Bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. Okay, that's good to know. The panic. What happened? Let's find out what happens if you panic. Let's see. Let's get the lights on. I just want to see what happens like when you panic. It's pretty spooky when the fog rolls in. We do see stone. Oh, all right, stones appear. Interesting. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. Apparently your light flickers as well. Nice. <laughs> so you can fish a bit longer, and probably get away with it for a while. But yeah, you get basically tired and start to see things as far as I can aware. Yeah. So all I'm seeing so far is a bunch of rocks. Whoa, what was that? There was definitely something in the water there. Someone went Rah! Wipe at us. Maybe we need to get to deeper water. Oh, things are getting really weird. Yeah, things are getting progressively weird. <laughs> you, you saw that thing in the water, though. Something with an arm just. Whoa! Is that crows? What the heck? Whoa. Cod is lost to the birds. Wow, so you lose fish. Ah, don't steal my... No, don't steal my... You start losing fish, apparently. Doc, quick, I'm losing my fish. <laughs> Hunch woman approaches you. Alright, so we meet new characters, it seems. And we got... Our, our panic has remained, it seems. Ah. Why are you here? I've come to meet nice people. <laughs> There's nothing for you here. Do yourself a favor and move on. Hmm. Nice person. Didn't really have much to say. Oh, special orders. Okay, we have some special orders. Go fly. Okay. I think so. Yeah, you wanted one of these, didn't you? We don't have an eel, though. Come back when you have everything. Okay, so we get special uh, fishing orders, it seems. Ooh, it didn't, didn't make much, so... Basically, if you stay out too long, you'll lose fish. Or you might crash into stuff. Or you might see a Cthulhu... ...tentacle or whatever. But, yeah, I didn't see... Uh, at least they remind you to get some sleep. 
frequent breaks is important. I wonder if there's any time limit. It doesn't seem to be any time limit, like on how many days you need to do stuff in. Alright, so it's introducing us to the other islands we'd already discovered. Yeah. Oh, I do have space. What are you talking about? Oh, we've got to grab it and shove it on board. Okay. Please be quick about it, because uh, there are some time-sensitive things. Good to know. Good to know. Well, I think we'll leave it off there, guys. This is a little, a lovely little enjoyable game. Uh, it's not too expensive. It's like 25 bucks. And, uh, yeah, it's not bad at all. I really enjoyed it. Um, I would have liked to see it a bit more, but I'm sure they're hiding that behind, you know, hours of gameplay. Uh, as you kind of discover why things are the, the way they are. Panic system is fun. It's uh, very gentle, not not that spooky. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised. I thought this would be quite, you know, a lot more spooky. But it's actually quite, um, quite nice. You know, like just a very enjoyable, pleasant game. Surprisingly, so I was expecting a kind of horror, kind of adventure. But it's not really a, you know, it's not really advertised as a horror. So it's just when you think Lovecraftian, but. I think they're just referring to some mysteries, basically, that you will uncover, but nothing too uh, too scary in this game, as far as I can see. At least not for me. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this first impressions, guys. Uh, I think I would recommend this for anyone who, like, who just wants a kind of uh, not too overly complex, fun little uh, business sim, you know, upgrade your stuff, get better stuff. And as well as that, you'll probably get a, a, you know, an interesting little adventure at the same time, which is not bad at all. Yeah, very, very enjoyable. And uh, yeah, so I would recommend you pick it up if you like that sort of thing. And uh, I certainly will be playing a bit more of this, I think. I, I want to see how crazy it gets and, you know, kind of what the story is surrounding this. It's always interesting. Maybe there's some twists in there. And maybe it's something new, hopefully, yeah, in the story. But yeah, I think I'm mostly going to play for the story and stuff. Uh, upgrading stuff, you know, that the kind of business games are fun too. Uh, I played a lot though, so I'm just like, kind of, yeah, upgrade your stuff. No, good. You know, but uh, the, the story elements and the mystery and the cool things you can catch and stuff, that's what really interests me. So I think there's a lot more of that in this game. And who knows, maybe that adds more stuff in the future. Anyway guys, if you'd like to see uh, some more videos from me in the future, please hit the subscribe button and uh, the real subscribe button, which is the bell, uh, to get notified when I upload videos. Maybe follow me on Twitter. And uh, yeah, please give me a like if you like the video, guys. And let me know what you think about the game. Are you going to try it? Are you going to check it out? Is it your thing? Is it not your thing? Um, and yeah, just expect more, more indie games in the future. I'll be taking a look at indie games as usual. Uh, not so much AAA games because they get enough attention as it is. <laughs> so I try to specialize in checking out, uh, you know, the latest and greatest indie games. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this, guys. Till next time. Thanks so much for watching.